the world's gone a little bit mad we are in very uncertain times and i wanted to talk about my thoughts on it and what i am currently doing hello and welcome if you're new around here my name is Sarah, I am a single mum to my own 15 year old son and I have two little foster care, foster carers, I don't, I'm not looking after foster carers, I have two little foster children in my care at the moment and whew, where do I start? I, I want to talk about everything going on right now in the world, I'm not going to say it because apparently I've heard that um, we may get demonetized if we um, if we say the word, but you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid avoid saying the word. Before I start talking, I will just say you know you may not agree with what I am thinking. You may have different opinions than me, and if you wanna obviously talk about it down in the comments, that's fine. But please be respectful, be kind. You know we don't need to be arseholes to each other, especially at times like this. There are no confirmed cases in my like, small area, my town, but in the wider circle, there are quite a lot of confirmed cases, like for Liverpool, Warrington, like lots of bigger towns around me have confirmed cases. And I mean, let's be honest, the whole country is gonna have confirmed cases soon enough, thank you. The whole country's gonna have confirmed cases soon enough, I have no doubt about that. And I will say that I am not particularly concerned for myself or for my son, my immediate family, um, the children that I'm looking after, we are not, we don't fall in any of the vulnerable categories. So it's not that that I have a concern with at all. It's the wider problem of it, obviously. First of all, I would say that my, like I say, my foster carer and my, if you are a foster carer, please let me know whether your local authority or your agency have done anything because honestly i'm am i appalled maybe that's too strong of a word but i am let's just say i'm appalled by the lack of communication from my local authority literally i've got my phone here let me see the only communication that i have had from my local authority was an email on friday i did start actually making them um, reply to it to say this is a joke um but literally all it says is I want to reassure you that we are monitoring on a daily basis and we'll keep you informed and a, a link to the gov.uk and I mean I just think there needs to be more said than that in all honesty that it's very like oh, I know we've got the government guidelines at which at the moment at the time of recording is if you have a cough or a fever to self-isolate for seven days which or I mean I'll get into that in a little bit but I just think there's we need Mm. I would like some more something else like honestly I'm taking my kids to contact I'm in the contact centre a lot because uh, of the age of my children and stuff there's just like I would expect like put some hand sanitizer and it's just little things that I'm just complaining about maybe but I just think there's been no no communication at all from my local authority um, about things which I just think is poor to be honest in yeah very poor from my own perspective as soon as anyone in this house gets a temperature or a new cough we will be self-isolating everyone will be it's not won't be a case of like if i get ill it will be a case that we kind of the whole house has to because i'm a single parent a single carer who's looking after these children i can't they they're gonna have to mingle with me um and so we will just self-isolate, we'll just shut the door for seven days and that is how I will approach that, which we all should approach it. I am sick of seeing people on social media saying, so I, I used to be a childminder and so I'm involved in, or I'm a member of like childminding groups and stuff on Facebook and thank you, that's mine. And so many people are talking, and I realise it's difficult and I know that if you have got if you go out to work and you've got childcare and if you have to stay off but they're like oh my kids they're texting child minders and be like oh my kid had a temperature this morning or my kid has a cough but it's because of x reason it's not because of anything else and it's like no i'm sorry you stay off and you're gonna have to be off work or you're gonna have to find something that's that's just the situation that we're in and 
yes people are gonna lose money and it will be difficult and i appreciate that i really do that you know if you're say you're a single parent and you've got two kids and one of them has a temperature one of them has a bit of a cough i can understand that the feeling is that you want to you, well, you need to, I should say, you need to keep going out to work and you just kind of maybe give them some cowpaw to cover up their temperature or something or and you know, take them to childcare, but we really need to not do that. We just can't. We need to be socially responsible and uh, people are going to fall on hard times and people are going to lose jobs and people are going to, you know, be really struggling for money, some people, and uh, that's... Unfortunately, if we get, that's just how it is going to be, and we, I know that's very simple and very easy for you to say, just like, oh, well, that's just going to happen. We need to all pull together and help people out in these situations. I personally think that schools should be closed. I know that is a, maybe a controversial, I think, maybe like 50-50. People that I speak to or people I see online, it's about 50-50 of, thank you, 50-50 of people who think schools should be closed and schools shouldn't be closed. And I think that they should. Kids are super spreaders and if we want to contain this a little bit, we should have the kids at home. Again, I realise obviously childcare is a huge issue, but we can help each other out, definitely. I mean, I don't know how this would work in that, you know, maybe we can... Like, honestly, if somebody... If there's a single mum a few doors down who need... Oh, the schools were closed and she had two young children... But she was like, I can't, like, I need to go to work. Her kids can come here for the day. I will look after her children for her so she can go to work. I am going to get paid from fostering. Well, I'm assuming. Obviously, unless I get extremely ill. But I'm, I mean, touch wood. You know, I won't. There's no wood here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to continue to get paid from fostering. So there's no, going to be no, shouldn't be any, God, God, I can't be certain, but there shouldn't be any financial burden on not burden but problem for me with this um so if someone is in that situation absolutely i will look after their kids whilst they will go for go to work and that's the sort of thing that we need to be doing and we need to be finding solutions rather than sort of not creating problems but like just looking at the problem and you know there will be people where you know, dad can, maybe dad is self-employed and really needs to go out to work, but mum can take a week off and we can just like, we can sort it out together. I think that's the big thing is that we can, we can get through this together if we help each other out with things. Um, so yeah, I do think definitely schools should be closed. Um, I kind of was struggling i was going backwards and forwards last week um, and over the weekend whether to not send steven to school my 15 year old i've decided to send him and see just what transpires i think that possibly schools may be closed by friday anyway uh, but i'm just gonna sort of hold out and see what happens none of us in the house are presenting any um what's it called any symptoms and we are being very aware of uh what's the word uh social what, what do they call it social not isolation social distancing we aren't really going out more um we're kind of like steven's going to school i'm doing contacts for the kids and i'm not i'm trying my best to not mingle with people as much as possible which i think is important that we all do a little bit of i think people again people on People just have some crazy ideas. People are saying that if schools are closed, then the parents will need to go to work. And so it'll be the grandparents that are looking after the kids. I'm sorry. I have a real problem with this. That if you are a parent and schools close, if you make the decision that rather than staying off work or rather than finding a friend or something, a young, fit, healthy friend or you know, to help you with childcare, rather than doing that, you're going to put your children in the care of your mother and father or you know your mother-in-law and father-in-law like that blows my mind that we say that that's what people are going to do because i'm sorry if that is what you're going to do you're stupid and maybe there are you know individual small cases where someone hasn't got any sort of support network and so 
it would have to be a parent, an elderly parent that does it. But they're small, isolated cases and it's just ridiculous. And also people are saying, oh, you know, the, the kids won't be isolated, the school's closed, the kids will be out on the streets. No, they won't. Absolutely, it is your job as a parent to stop that happening and talk to your children about the importance of staying in and about social distancing and that to me is an argument of why schools shouldn't be closed because kids will just go out anyway. No they won't. My kid won't be. I'll be making sure of it and to say that they would is just so stupid to me. I, I just find it crazy and also are these the same people that complain that their kids never go outside and they sit on inside on social media or on the Xbox or whatever all day every day? I think probably. It's driving me a little bit insane to be honest, it's driving me insane. I think we all need to, I, oh my goodness, we went shopping at the weekend, we didn't go shopping, we were, there's a lady, an older lady who likes, who want, who needs, wanted some disinfectant wipes, an older that my sister knows, and so we went to a few shops over the weekend trying to find her these disinfectant wipes, we couldn't find any, um, but just the shelves are, oh my goodness, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. The, the shelves in the supermarkets over the last sort of five days or so, like the beginning of last week, it wasn't too bad. Yesterday is Sunday, it's Monday as I'm recording this, Sunday was just, it was just crazy, everything, well not everything, that's an exaggeration. The shelves are pretty empty and I think that we just need to be careful on that, of course we do have to be careful of that, we don't need to stockpile a load of things, it's crazy. I have got a video coming out, the next video that I put out is going to be like what, like my little haul of stuff that I've bought. Um, like food wise and things we just need to like oh like toilet I mean don't get me started on the whole toilet paper situation it's just ridiculous and I can understand and I do understand that people want to protect their families and they want to have food and stuff in the house but I mean realistically I do think that if most people looked in their cupboards they've probably got enough food for a couple of weeks anyway so that whole thing just does need to be calmed down. The whole panic buying is just on another level, to be honest. We were supposed to be going away Easter, only in this country. We will see what happens with that. I am not saying we're not going, I'm not saying we're definitely, obviously I can't say that we're definitely going, we don't know what the situation will be in, what, I think that's like in three, three weeks time, two and a half weeks time or so. Don't know what the situation will be, of course. Um, don't know if we'll be going or not, but it is cancelable. The hotels and stuff it is cancelable. It's not a huge problem. My sister was going to Krakow at Easter uh, with her kids. She was quite worried about that, but it's just been cancelled. I mean, borders are just closing, aren't they? No one is being able to travel a massive amount. If you've been in the UK in the past like 14 days, there's not many places you can get into, to be honest. So. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's the current situation. In terms of what I am doing, of course I'm doing the hand washing and the, um, I have some, what's it called at my door, uh, hand wash. I supposed to have a social worker come in today. She's gonna wash her hands when she enters. Um, I do have some, what's it called, training that I'm supposed to go to tomorrow foster care training I'm not I don't I, I'm in two minds I don't, really don't know what to do about it I just feel like I'm maybe mingling with a whole well I will be mingling with a whole new different set of people is it a wise thing to do honestly like I've heard that Liverpool and Manchester which are two local authorities I've heard um I don't know how true this is but I have heard that they've cancelled all training and everything and like social worker visits and things um we haven't had anything like that from our local authority again if you are a foster carer please do let me know like have you have you is like is contact still happening is visits still happening uh training and stuff i may cancel the training to be honest um i'll have a little think about it and see see what i think i am taking temperatures of the kids sort of like morning and night and just obviously monitoring and myself and just monitoring for you know, obviously if this come down with a cough then we will self-isolate and also I think today I am gonna go I have some elderly neighbours um, and I 
like either side and like a few doors down and things so i think i may just go uh well i will go and see i'll either like knock on the door put a little note through with my, my number or whatever to say if they are concerned if they you know they haven't got anyone who can you know maybe they do have sons and daughters or whatever who can help out family members but if they haven't i just want to go and see if they do need any bits of shopping or anything anything that i can do to help them and i think that's what we all need to do is we all need to just help each other where we can this is obviously a crazy world and none of us have kind of experienced this level of um i don't even know what it is this level of shit going on right now and we just need to help each other we really do just need to help each other where we can and you know we'll get through it it's it's going to be shit. It is going to be shit and it's going to get worse before it gets better. That I feel like that's just, you know, the fact of it now. You know, lots and lots of people are going to die. Lots of... And I'm, I'm sort of saying that. I don't mean that to sound so flippantly. But they are. Lots of people are going to die. And lots of people are going to, like I said before, like lose jobs and be in hard times. And we need to come together and help each other as much as we can. Um... That is all I have to say on the matter, to be honest. Let me know your opinions. Obviously, this is a very emotive subject. Um, so please do be kind to each other down in the comments. And uh, yeah, look after yourself, look after others, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.